Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you some of the new tips and tricks in Microsoft Teams and I hope this would be new to you and you won't be knowing many of the tricks. So if you know, please forgive me and just go to the next tip, alright? So now let's get started. So the first tip that I wanted to show you was there is a feature to pin your chat, alright? If a particular chat is really important, you can just make it appear over the top irrespective of all the other chats. So for doing that, you'll be having like this option. If you just hover over your chat, there will be like this three dot option over here. You can just click it and there'll be an option called as pin. If you just pin it, it will be pinned to the top. I'm not having many chats over here. I rarely use Teams. So you can do this as well. If you want to unpin that, you can just unpin it as well. And you can also mute that particular chat if that is like really irritating to you. So this is the first tip. And the second one is if you want to see all the shortcuts that are available in your Teams, what you can do is you need to press control and the dot key all right so by doing this you will be getting the all the shortcuts that are available over here so for let's say i want to zoom in and zoom out, zoom out means i need to press control plus equal to to zoom in and i need to press control minus to zoom out so these are some of the ways you can do this and next one in case if you want to change the theme of your teams means what you're doing is just going to this option settings over here and again settings and here you will be having the default dark and contracts. I think you would be knowing this. I will just go with the default one as well. So now let me just zoom in a bit. All right. So in order to change your availability or the status, what you can do is you can just click this profile and here you will be having the status as available. So if I just click it and if I just click on appear offline. So here you can see it is now white with the X mark over here. So even if I am online, this is appearing as if I were offline. So here you can see it's still showing me offline. So in case if you want to escape from somebody, you can do this. And in case if you want to show as if you are really busy or if you if you were a meeting, you can just click on this busy. So here you can see it is now red in color. So sometimes people may even think that you're in a meeting because whenever you want to meet or a call, it will be showing this red color as well. But you are actually just set this to busy. You can also trick this way. So I will just for a good thing, I will just go with available itself. And next thing, if you want to send a really, really important message means what you can do is you can just click on this option first icon over here format and you can just type a message. OK, so I will just go with deadline, something like that. And if I just go here, you will be having this mark as important. Actually, this icon will be present here. I have zoomed in a bit. So that's why it's appearing over here like a drop up menu. So just click mark as important. And if I just now send it. So it will be having like a important icon over here. So by this way, you can like specify that this particular chat that you have sent is really, really important thing. So the final trick, uh, I think many of you would be knowing this. Anyway, I will just tell like you, for those who don't know, you can just watch it. So if I just now join a meeting over here. And here we will be having an option to like turn on live captions. So if some other person is speaking and if you want to like have the captions open, you can just add this, uh, click on this particular turn on live caption. So as you can see here, I am getting like the subtitles, what do you call in movies, it's appearing over here. So if you want to just close this as well, you can just close it as well. So this is fine. So th this is it guys. These are the some of the tips and tricks that I want to show you. And please comment down how many tips that you actually knew and what are the tips that were new to you that I told in this video. So I hope you have found this video useful. I also have many other programming videos in C, C++, Java, Python, SQL queries, Node.js, React.js. So do check other videos of my channel. Subscribe me. Thanks for watching.